Hi, Vinyl Community. My name is Glenn. Uh, this is my first video. Um, I have been watching uh, all of your videos for quite some time now and enjoying them very much and uh, thought it would be nice to get involved, join the community, and hopefully uh, I can add something positive to the mix. Um, been listening to music for since the cradle. I can't remember a time not uh, being passionate about it. I'm 66 years old, born and raised in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and uh, now live about uh, an hour and a half drive east of Toronto. Um, uh, my collection is uh, mostly CD based as a result of selling my vinyl off uh, not once but twice. Um, I just recently uh, won a turntable in a raffle and um, I'm building my vinyl collection up slowly. I have 42 records and also the proud owner of the Beatles mono vinyl box. So it's coming along slowly. I'll uh, probably share some vinyl with you as I'm on my journey of getting my collection back up. Um, CDs, I have about uh, 2,000 titles. And um, yeah, that's about all I can say right now. I live here with my wife and my great dog Peyton. Um, just before I leave on this video, I'd like to uh, maybe share my favorite album with you just to kind of get the ball rolling. Actually, when I say favorite album, I, I cheat a little bit. I have three favorites, and uh, they're one, one A, and one B. I can't, uh, I can't pick one favorite out of the three. So to start with, uh, a big Beatles fan, Sgt. Pepper's. That is, uh, to me, the ultimate album. Uh, essential album, important album. Uh, not much can be said more about that. I think we all uh, recognize the importance of Sgt. Pepper. Secondly, Big Bob Dylan fan, Blonde on Blonde. This is the uh, MoFi Original Master SACD, which sounds incredible. Uh, my favorite uh, Dylan song is uh, Visions of Johanna, which is on here. And uh, I think this was probably the first double rock album. Maybe Zappa's uh, The Mother's um, Freak Out was ahead of it. I'm not sure about that, but it's pretty close to being the first one. Uh, also, I think it's the first album that blew everybody's minds and had one song that took up the whole side of a record was Sad Eyed Lady of the Lowlands, but uh, two or three big hits on this album too. Uh, Rainy Day Woman, Just Like a Woman, I Want You. Just a fantastic album from start to finish. Last but not least, Jethro Tull Aqualone. Uh, I uh, first heard Jethro Tull back uh, on underground radio, a station called Chum FM in Toronto, and they used to play a song called Beggar's Farm off the first Jethro Tull album called This Was. Um, I kind of ignored them after that. They put out a couple albums, Stand Up and uh, Benefit, I think. And uh, then I was in a record store one day and saw this album cover and just had to have the album. Took it home and just fell in love with it. I think it's uh, just an incredible album. The dynamics between uh, Ian Anderson's acoustic guitar and flute and Martin Barr's great electric guitar playing. The songs are all incredible. It, it, it kind of comes across as a concept album, but uh, I think it's just because of the cohesiveness of the songs. But uh, regardless, and also this is the uh, Stephen Wilson anniversary remix. It's the uh, book style things they've been putting out. I think they've got eight of them out now. Highly recommend if you're uh, a tall fan. These are essential. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching the first video. I'll keep it short so I don't bore you and uh, look forward to um, doing more of these and uh, please keep yours coming too because I really enjoy them. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.